Hello, yes, failed. That's right. The selfie at the beginning of this video is of the so-called three Labour councillors meant to be representing the people of Kensington and Fairfield here in Liverpool. But in reality, they have failed the people of that community big time. In 2018, it was rats and rubbish. The rats, obviously, uh, the plague of rats that were infest in Kensington and it may still be, was brought about due to the newcomers now settled in Kensington and Fairfield, dumping their rubbish wherever they felt fit. And before anyone says it's not down to the newcomers, then why pull eight signs in different languages on the alley gates if it was the locals it'd just be in english wouldn't it well of course so in 2018 the poor people of kensington and fairfield have gone from rats rubbish to muggins and robberies here now in 2019 that's right the area now has been hit by a spate of muggins robberies distraction burglaries and what are the three Labour councillors doing about it? Well, we know what they're going to say. They're going to blame the Tories. Tory cuts, central government, or even the police. But like I've said many times before in my videos, at the very, very, very least, you've remained silent in all this. You know who's responsible, right, for the problems now affecting uh, the community of Kensington and Fairfield, you know quite well, right? It's the newcomers. The newcomers have brought their ways with them, which has brought rats and muggins and robberies and distraction burglaries, all documented, right? You see, even, it's so bad now, I don't even have to mention who the newcomers are in my leaflets, right? I don't have to mention the people, the good people of Kensington and Fairfield already know. And you three failed Labour councillors are going to pay big time, right? They're going to pay big time at the ballot box. There's no doubt in my mind, right? Because I speak to people, I talk to people, and they're telling me they're not happy, right? They're going to vote for Joe Owens this time because they can see this year is just going to be the same as last year, probably worse, right? And nothing's going to be done about it when not you blame the police, central governments, or Tory cuts or whatever. Like I've said, at the very, very, very least, you've remained silent as to the causes of all this. It's no good treating the symptom. You have to get right to the cause, what's causing it, and we know what's causing it. Okay, thank you.